Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video we are going to test and see how we can use this small laser distance meter which is based on the uh, VL53L0X uh, chip. This chip is used for a shorter range by the manufacturer it says it can measure up to 2 meter but because of some limitation of the design of this module we will not be able to get that range but it's very precise and we can measure distance so let's get started with this the module that you see on the left of the screen this one is that tiny piece here so this has both uh, cases of transmitter receiver and lens to measure uh, the reflection and get the distance so before doing that I need to solder this header pen into this as you can see the header is larger than this and here are the pens these are the specs the data sheet uh, so the size is very tiny this is the actual module that you can see uh, here it says it can work up to two meter but the uh, tiny module that so we first solder So the board is, the module is soldered. You can see here we have VN ground, so this is connected to 5 volts and this is connected to ground to Arduino. Internally it works around 2 to 2.8 volts but it has a voltage regulator in the, in the module and this side that you can see. So the, there is a voltage regulator, you don't have to worry about it and this is the signal clock, CL that clock, that DA is the data. So we have S data and S clock. These, we are using these four. So this is I2C uh, based communication that we will use with our Arduino. So we will connect VN to this five volts here as you can see. And then we ground to, uh, to this ground or any of the ground, doesn't matter. Then we have the clock the clock will be connected to pin number five which I have here a white one and then the data will be connected to analog four so all the code for this uh, project and also the library for Arduino the link will be at the description and also will be linked through our website robojax.com so let's get started with the code so Oh, the link that we will provide you will come to this page and here it says Adafruit VL53L0X library so when you click on this one I'm opening it in a new tab just click here and download it as zip once the download is completed this is the file that the download will be completed I'm going to the folder so this is a file and then you can right click and if you have zip just extract here when you select extract here you will see this uh, uh, folder which is called VL53 master so right click copy it go to wherever you have the Arduino which I have here this is the Arduino that I have and here is the libraries inside the library just right click and paste it this is what I have done so the folder is here and here are two examples that is included with this so, so this is my current Arduino if I click on file examples and then you will see here Adafruit VL53LX L0X and open the first one okay so the first thing that you do is by default this is at uh, 115,200 uh, if I click on my system if I go to my device manager right click and I, I went to the device manager first of all this is not connected so if I connect my Arduino you will see that this is COM4 double click on it 
and go to port setting here you see that it's 9600 so I'm setting this one 9600 so because this is 9600 I'm not changing it so port com number 4 com 4 and here Ninety-six hundred. So that's the first thing, and this is included. I'm not touching anything. Everything is the same as uh, it was provided. So I'll just save it for now. Okay. So now let's go here and then select the port, which is number four. That is correct. Now let me explain the code. So once you include the library, this is already include to .h, with it, which is a C file. So it goes and reads all the details and functions and everything. And then they have created an object, uh, LOX. Don't worry about it. This is a type. It's a type, and they use uh, this function to create that object. We are not concerned about that. So this is setting the serial port. So this while loop until port open, it just goes until the serial serial port opens. After that, it prints in the serial port that says other fruit, the text that you just saw. So it's printing that one. And then, so this while loop until port open, it just goes until the serial serial port opens. After that, it prints in a serial port that says other fruit, the text that you just saw. So it's printing that one. And then if LOX, that object that we created, this LOX is coming from this. So this LOX, you, you can name it anything you like. So it's just a text. So here it says this is an object that is coming from this function, which is inside this file. So it says if LOX begin, begin is a method inside that LOX object. So if this doesn't exist, then there is another while loop. It should print fail to boot. But if this begin is true, so this was not true. If this is true, this, so this is initial setup. After that, here is the actual loop. Okay, now for the loop, here we are we're creating a variable. And then that variable is being passed as reference to this method. We're not concerned with this. The, the most important part for us is that if measure dot range status is not equal four, so four could be a failure or something within the within the code that is here. Okay, so here is the actual uh, value: measure dot range millimeter. So measure the range millimeter will give you the millimeter distance. So this text is printed and after that, the actual range. Otherwise, it prints out of range and it delays by 400 millisecond and then it goes back. So now I'm just uploading the code. The code is being uploaded. Let me go and open serial monitor. So this is my serial monitor. Okay, so as you can see here, it shows all this distance in millimeter. Okay, as you can see here, the distance is shown 30 millimeters, which is correct. So I'm just going down and moving my hand. So when I get closer, let me put my hand here. After a certain distance, it doesn't work. So it doesn't work less than so the one that I have. So this is correct. This is around five centimeter or six centimeters. If I get closer, four, three, so two, and after that it goes back. So less than two. 20 millimeter or less than 30 millimeter, it doesn't work. So that is uh, the drawback. I'm putting it up, so if I put to the ceiling, it shows out of range. Anything 
So now it shows out of range because there is no object in front of it. So if I bring my hand, so that's around 10 centimeter, which shows. If you like the video, please thumb up and also please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.